Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Benjamin. Let's get right into it. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a typing effect, which was actually used in Sam Calder's recent video. I'll leave a link to Sam Calder's video in the description. Also, special thanks to Ovi Mehera for letting me use his video. Um, uh, it's just it's just a really cool video for mine. Alright, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is select the clip you want the effect to take place on. Hold Command and press C on the keyboard to copy it. Drag the second clip underneath the first clip. Find the custom title layer and drag it in between the two clips. Disable the top clip. Select the title layer and add in your own text. Resize it and change the font to however you want. Now, I don't always do this, but in this case I can. What I'm doing here is aligning the text so that the A fits perfectly on Obby's back. It's just a small effect, but I feel like sometimes it can have quite a big impact, so I quite like it. Alright, so this is where the effect comes in. Search for the draw mask in the effects browser, apply it to the top clip. What's really cool is that even though it's disabled, you can still apply the effect to it. Place a key point just above and to the left of the first letter. Follow this by another key point below the letter and then to the end of the rest of the text. Continue this until you get back to your first key point. Move your cursor to the start of where you want the text to come in. Head to the transform section and set a keyframe for the position. Press the right arrow key on the keyboard to move forward one frame. Drag the entire key point box we created so that the first letter is uncovered. Every now and then you might need to adjust the key points to get the letter to fit best. Hit the right arrow key again and move the keyframe box so that the second letter is revealed. If you need to zoom in to check that it fits perfectly then you can do that like this. Once you're done, search for the keyboard sound effect and place it underneath your clip and that is the tutorial complete. Guys, that is the end of the video. So guys, if you have enjoyed it, a like rating would be awesome. Share it with your friends if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on post notifications, all that sort of stuff. Join the Venture Fan and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.